wait till you hear what I'm going to tell you about these four products I've been using on my own skin for the past week from that budget supermarket Aldi. This is four products from their La Cora, their own skincare brand. La Cora, it sounds amazing, doesn't it? It's like La Cura for the skin, La Cura for the skin. Mm. Listen up, because one of these products has really got Joni on her high horse and you'll need to listen up to find out which one. But before I go on, my name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please, could you hit that subscribe button and that bell? I know I say that in every video, but I'm trying hard to grow my channel and every little bit helps. Also, when you hit that bell, you will get notified. I'll come up in your feed and when I have a bright idea about another subject that hopefully regarding skin is going to be of interest to you, here's hoping. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's get started. La Cura Moisturising Face Wash. So, let's see what it looks like. So, this is a gel okay and you put it on to dampen skin and i'm going to show you what happens when you move it about okay it foams up now when i say it foams up when you use that with water it really foams up on your skin and that should give you a little bit of clue of how i'm thinking about this because on here it says 100 percent soap free and it says for all skin types this is meant to be a dupe for simple kind to skin face wash which is 250 but this is only 99 pence so it sounds great doesn't it 99 pence for the same one is simple in the top six ingredients it's got four cleansing surfacants and that's what's causing all this foam stuff on your skin and i'm going to say to you that after using this for three days my skin started dry up that may be okay if you've got an oily skin but when you've got a combination skin or you've got dry skin or dehydrated skin you do not want to use this product. All skin types? No, it's not for all skin types. That's why you've really got to understand the ingredient list and I'm here to help you with that. I'm really here to help you with this. There is panthenol in it, provitamin V5 in number seven, glycerin is number eight, vitamin E is number nine, but that's two down the list when you've got these soapy things happening at the beginning which are drying your skin out. Because it's misleading, I think I'm gonna give this the thumbs down only for oily skins, right? Next, we've got the serum, okay? So I'm gonna tell you that this serum, quite a nice cream, okay? Again, to me, it's not really like a serum because I think it doesn't absorb quick into skin, but I did like it as a moisturizing feel to skin. I'm gonna say it's a dupe for Nivea Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Serum, which is 12 99 at Boots. And this is only 2 99 so it's a quarter of the price. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Nivea must hate this Lacura brand. They must be like that. Ah! Thing for me, it says Q10 just underneath the brand name. And that's one of the things I find is a bit misleading. It's got glycerin number two ingredient. It's number three ingredient in Lidl's one, in Lidl's serum. That's a humectant. And then it's got number 12, it's got vitamin E. Um, great. And that's number eight in Lidl's. So I'm saying this to you because looking down here, it's got almost the same ingredients that Lidl has got in their serum, the same serum. Very, very similar. And I think that's funny. So there's no difference in my feeling to this that I mentioned in the previous video that, about Lidl, that it's a nice moisturiser. And that's all I'm going to say. This is not really a serum. Is it anti-aging? No, not really. The Coenzyme Q10 is number 30 on the list here. You know what I mean? It's number 30 on the ingredient list. So that's not, this is not anti-wrinkle. No, it's a nice moisturiser. It's going to keep your skin moisturised and a bit protected, certainly. But that's about it. Nothing really else. I did quite like it. And that's why I'll give it a thumbs up because I did quite like it. <laughs> Next, we've got the Lacura Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. Okay, in the jar packaging. And you know what I think about jar packaging, no need to mention it now, is it? But every time you use your jar, make sure you put the lid on very quickly to keep it active, all the actives active. Again, it says Q10 Day Cream and SPF 20 and it's 8 99 And this is meant to be a dupe for Nivea Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Face Cream at 13 99 So pretty good. Second ingredient is glycerin. Always a great ingredient in a day cream, a moisturiser. But the third ingredient is octocrylene, which is a bad sunscreen ingredient. And I'll go into that more in the next product. But that's not good, octocrylene. And then it's got um, shea butter, 
number four ingredient, but it's got superstar ingredient niacinamide at number 11. Woohoo! And niacinamide is skin repairing and skin conditioning. If you don't mind the bad SPF at number three, the bad sunscreen ingredient, it's really a, your own opinion. I'm here just to give you my opinion, but it's your opinion that really counts. Then this is okay. But here's the thing. I'm going to give this a thumbs down because of that ingredient, right? Autocrylene is a sunscreen ingredient that protects the skin from UV rays, but it's under FDA investigation just now. And it's been under investigation for some time because it's not coral reef friendly. It's not great for the ocean. It's not great for the wildlife in the ocean. And therefore, it's not great for you. It isn't. So for that reason alone, I'm giving this a thumbs down. All right. Um, I have to say to you that the, the cream is quite thick when you put it on. Okay, quite thick, um, creamy, but no, I would not recommend that at all. Then we've got the beautiful silver jar that is the caviar cream, and I got told to try this. I had people messaging me saying you need to you need to do a review on the the one that's like caviar is meant to be in. <laughs> I always think that's funny, isn't it? We're so programmed to take things in. Oh, let's get caviar in it. Must be really good. It's a real luxe cream. And this is meant to be a dupe for La Prairie. Now, this is $6.99. Okay, you can't whack it. $6.99. And La Prairie, the same cream, La Prairie Skin Caviar Luxe Cream, is 427 quid. Wow, amazing, isn't it? I don't know that for sure because I have not checked La Prairie their ingredients. I will do that very soon, I promise, and tell you what I think of La Prairie and their ingredients. But seven quid for this. It's got an SPF of 15. Was it any good? So I'm going to just let you see it very quickly. Okay, I'm opening it up and I'm going to put it on. That's probably too much. Okay, but you'll see it goes on quite thick and I have to tell you that it's very shiny very very shiny very 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 shiny so if you don't like the shine you will not not like this product if you've got an oily skin you will hate this product and if you've got a combination of skin like me fair chance you won't like it either because that oil does not go away it still remains tacky so it's great for maybe repairing the, the outside barrier of your skin 100 percent, and that's great for the environment meaning that it will protect you against environmental factors, I'm sure. But here's the bit that's really got me annoyed. It's got number three, the octocrylene, that bad sunscreen ingredient. But it's not just got that one. It's got another one, ethyl hexyl salicate, which is a UBV filter, which is also under review by the FDA too. And it's got another one, which is number seven. Hard for me to say this one, butyl methoxydibenzoyl methane aka avabenzone that's the other name for it that's three very bad sunscreen ingredients that are currently under review by the fda in this cream and they're in the top that's seven that one i just told you is number seven ingredients so we've got one it's three five and seven that is not good for the planet not good for your skin think about this okay Certainly, you know, we come down to number 15 and we've got the stem cell daisy plant extract, which is soothing. And then we've got algae extract is number 21 ingredient list. You think the way they talk about caviar, it's going to be in the top five or 10. No, it's not. It's number 21. So here's the thing. It's not just got those three bad sunscreen ingredients. It's also got perfume, linalool, limonene. A lot of people are definitely sensitized by those two ingredients. Geraniol and ethyl paraben, methyl paraben, one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients, apart from the other three that are really not great for you. So <laughs> I know you're getting my drift now. It may look a pretty jar because it's silver and it may sound good. But check the label before buying a product that contains sunscreen ingredients. I will leave a link to an article in the description for you to read a bit more about it. But you really have to do that. We need to protect the planet. We need to protect the oceans, the wildlife, because in turn, we are protecting ourselves. Right? 
It's not all about these companies that own these brands, Aldi and Lidl, whatever, but Aldi is the one we're talking about today that's making all this money from us buying this. No, nevertheless, it's seven quid, but it's seven quid they're making from you to really not be healthy for the planet and for yourself. You know, I don't want to get all <laughs> up my high horse just now, but please think about all of that. Check the ingredients, read up and research what I'm talking about. I will put a link or two below in the description for you to follow through with that. There are lots of info in studies showing that many chemical sunscreens, including the ones in here, are dangerous. So that should be enough to get you thinking. So this product is definitely getting a thumbs down. So I hope you managed to stay through that and felt my passion about what we should be thinking about when we're choosing products for ourselves that are cruelty free, that are kind to the planet, kind to the oceans, and in turn that's kind to humanity. We need to be thinking that way, guys and gals. We need to be thinking that way. Please let me know what your thoughts are, as I know you will. I hope that was good for you today. And remember, any other skincare reviews you want me to do, Put it in the comments and I'll get to them, I promise. Have a great week and look after yourselves. Take care.